Ah, <laughs> uh, so we're going to be learning how to upcycle two by fours and a simple um, piece of plywood, uh, half inch plywood, into a utility cart. And you know what? A lot of people make these utility carts for a lot of reasons. Now, this utility cart was made for gardening purposes. It comes down to this. You have 2x4s and the whole bottom half of it here I overbuilt on the 2x4s. I made sure that it basically came out as a standard H format. As you can see there's two 2x4s two here, two 2x4s two here, and then one in the center. The one piece of advice I give you when you're going to make this cart, although you're not going to use it in your house, make sure that it can go through doors. <laughs> Just a little smidgen thought right there, you know. When it comes to the casters, this is where the expense comes from. You're not going to have these laying around in your house when you're upcycling everything. So I got these from Harbor Freight for about $9 each. A little bit of tread doesn't hurt and the wider the caster the better. Especially if you have loose grounds or if you have a lot of dirt spots inside of your yard. The wider casters allow for you to be able to get around just a little bit better around. So just a suggestion on the back of your mind depending on what your yard is. The platform uh, all it is is just plywood a half inch plywood that I completely soaked in polyurethane that was UV capable and I mean I just went nuts and I just let it just soak into there because I knew that I was going to be using it with a water hose but the other reason why is because I knew that it would you know protect the wood for other purposes especially if I'm going to leave the cart out sometimes and I might um, because what's nice about this card is bags of mulch on top of this thing. You can put trash cans on top of this thing. You can put uh, uh, barbecue briquet bags on top of this thing. Really, anything that's bulky that usually is kind of hard to move around in your yard, it's a wonderful basic cart to get everything done. And the reason why there's so much of the 2x4s on the bottom is because a bottom heavy cart like this makes it very easy to move around on your yard which is something that you need to know about. When you're going to put what you're going to use to pull and push your cart with, the casters, as you can see, they're all swiveling casters, so it makes it easy to get around things. But this, I make sure that I put these L brackets right on here. And I'm going to turn it just a little more. There, you can see them, I hope these L brackets right on here to make sure that they would attach. I also use these new style types of lag screws. They're actually not called lags. They're called SPX uh, screws, which are supposed to be better than lag screws. And that way it will attach it directly in here. So this piece isn't going anywhere when you're pushing it in or out. But I've learned something over the years about carts. All garden carts, all of them, are kind of designed like radio flyers or any of those things so all you have to do just in case pushing it isn't going to do it from the top you get a piece like this you put a magnet on the top right there here I'll aim it down a little bit see the magnet right there and that will actually do two things for you so if you can't push it and pull it around because it's too bogged down for any reason then you can just take this piece and start pulling it from the lower end and you have that no center of gravity working out for you. And all this is is just a really well placed block of 2x4 latch that's on here. If it ever fails, just put a new one. It's that easy. But it won't. It won't fail because I put all these special screws that come from the cabinet industry. And what's nice is that the heads of these come with washers already installed as a part of the head. So, do you have to buy these and use them? No. But does it speed up the process when you're attaching them directly into all the 2x4s and making sure all of this is attached to it? Yes. The other thing is the trim. You don't need trim. But it does help to have the trim in there because if something is rolling around, maybe, or whatever reason, it does hold something back. I put the trim because it just made it look prettier, okay? Trim was designed to make things look prettier. That's the reason why I use trim. and make it work, I put it down on the ground, and anything that I stick on it will now work without a problem. 
So all I suggest is that, again, make sure you pay attention, make sure it's not too wide so that you can get it through doors inside of your own home. And the casters, the wider they are, the better. It's an investment, but I guarantee you that they will definitely take care of it. And then if you have any particular questions, especially let's say for instance using the carriage screws that I had to install here to put this in, or little details that maybe the pictures aren't showing too much on here, please do send me a comment. I do want to help you out. But remember, you're going to make this for your benefit. So whatever you think of, I'd love to see what you design and hopefully I'll get things done. And again, it's Christopher and this is your upcycled utility cart for your garden. Um, I made it out of sheer anger, actually. I, I did not make this cart because I really wanted one. It was because I had something that I owned that lasted for about six months and then it broke. And I'm going to show you what it is. <clears throat> this water hose right here, as you can see, there's a broken piece right there. Six months, this basically falls apart and I can't use this garden hose and left around, you know, from point A to point B. So I was about to purchase another one, but it was gonna be better, and it had four wheels on it, and and it cost $125 for the good ones, all right? I mean, there was cheaper ones out there, but I'm not gonna spend $120 just because I wanna lug a hose from point A to point B. I'm sorry, I, I don't know about you, but that's just not gonna be the way I do things. So it came down to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna channel my anger and I'm gonna make a utility cart, which in essence becomes a garden cart too. Um, 